Okay, CDs, digipacks, jewel cases. This is gonna be the most boring video we've ever done. Or cool. People, some people will find it cool. Or cool. Yeah. All right, so we got here uh, Judas Priest, Redeemer of Souls, came out in 2014-ish. Uh, what I really like about this digipack is it might be hard to tell on the camera. It's really glistening. It's foil. It's foiled. What do you mean it's foiled? Like if you look at it in the light, here, you hold it and try it out. Hold it and move it in the light. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, um, Too bad the album's not that great. <laughs> but wow, it really amazing. Like Even inside... Um, and I'm a Magic the Gathering player, and my I like foil cards. They, they tend to be worth more. It's a premium. It's uh, extra cost to do this kind of process. Look, the artwork's really awesome as well. This was a, one of their logos that they used. The Metallion, I think it's called. It's pretty sweet. Um, this is a double CD. It's got a bonus CD with bonus tracks that are kick-ass as well. And, fuck, it's a cool cover. There's flames and shit and this metal steel guy. Like, what's not to like? And the music is good, despite what RDO says. Mm. Yeah, it's not terrible. Uh, okay, this is Danzig 4. I hate digipacks. This is what happens to a digipack after 20-something years. It looks like it went through the dishwasher. And I hate them. And this is just from playing it a lot. <laughs> There's nothing special about this digipack other than it's really fucking thin. Mm -hmm. And when I have it in my CD collection, like you can just barely see that it's actually there. I also hate that. Um, the CD is in good condition and everything, but look, if I don't even see how frayed it is. It's just basically, this is a CD that demonstrates my my hatred for, for digipacks. It's my worst looking one. It's my ugliest one. The art's cool. Oh, the artwork is fine, yeah. yeah. If it was on a, this would be better in a jewel case. Yeah. So this is, um, underneath this is a slipcase cover. Nice. And underneath is just a regular CD. Seven Son of a Seven Son. Um, what's cool about this in particular um, is this got pulled from the shelves. It was a retail Canadian exclusive. Um, and the RCMP took issue with Eddie as a Mountie. Seriously? Yeah, so they pulled them. No way. They did. Uh, and so now these are very valuable. Why do you make me want to hate the RCMP? <laughs> I'm not making you hate anything. You are. <laughs> defund the police. <laughs> yeah, defund. Because <laughs> of this. But yeah, it's cool. I mean, I know that maidens use this artwork in t-shirts and shit. So um, yeah, it's cool. That's all I want to show. Mm, cool. All right, we got Immortal All Shall Fail. Fall, sorry. Fall, All Shall Fall. Uh, what's neat and different about this one, and also I hate it, is... The, ba the band logo. Oh, it's on the case. It's a sticker. I, that's yeah. great. Oh, it's a sticker. On the case. So watch when I take the, the jacket out. See the arch just on its own, which is pretty cool. And then you've got on the case, Immortal All Shuffle. If you do this, wait. Oh, yeah, there you go. Weird. Yeah. And look, see, it's cracked. Yeah, and then you can't replace I, I it. I can't take the sticker off and put it on another one. It's going to fuck it up. So do you like this or you hate this? I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool album, though. Uh, this is brand spanking new. I just got it. I just opened it a couple days ago, okay? Avantasia Ghost Lights. This is... I'm only going to bitch in this video, I think. I fucking hate these digipacks. Look at this thing. Brand new. Look at this. Look at that. What the hell happened? It, when I opened it, it was already like that. This this booklet. Oh, the staple came out. Is stapled to the thing, a piece of paper. <laughs> so you'd think, oh, this is class, hardcover. You know what I mean? But you open it, it's flimsy as shit. Come on, man. Just just put it in a goddamn jewel case. <laughs> Stop dicking around with this shit, like. They probably pay these manufacturing companies to make these uh, these premium cases and then turn out like crap. Anyway, the album's great. I love it. It's a great album. But you know what I mean? Like this this booklet's going to fall out soon. Like it's holding it's being held by one staple and then I have no place to put it. Like I it's just going to be it's going to fly out of this book all the time. Yeah. So anyway, that's that. The first song sounds like meatloaf. <laughs> 
you. Mystery of the Blood Red Rose. Yeah, true. All right, Iced Earth did a series of re-releases. I think there was a box set. I think it's called, it's right here, Slave to the Dark. Um, so I hate this. There's a cool part I'll show you, but what I hate that about it. That is actually really neat looking. Is you've got this yeah. strip of cardboard you got to take off. <laughs> okay, and it's got just some whatever info, barcode. And then you've got, uh, this is a three CD set. So when you open it up, it's cool. Oh, oh. oh. Right, and it's got some cool art. Um, Set Abominé, which is their key character. Pictures of the band. Um, this is a live album, one of the best live albums ever made, I think. Um, what's cool about this, though, and I'll just take one of these out. Okay, the middle one sucks. Like it, you got to push it from this side, I guess. Yeah, and then so each thing has its own kind of cardboard sleeve. Each CD. Um, and oh it's, weird! It's meant to look like a record. Okay. And even this CD. Oh weird! Oh look at that! Look at that! Like, looks like a record. Look at that! Oh that's neat. Okay. And, and it even says side B. Okay, I like A B C, but really it'd be A B C D E F if it was a neat triple LP. Okay, I like this. That's a neat looking digi pack. It is, but it's it's a pain in the ass to get to them. Like if it was a right. You know what I mean? Like if it's just a regular jewel case that opens up and there's two sides. Can I see the other side if you flip yeah. this? Did they think about that? Oh, not bad. Yeah, damage. Yeah, that's another thing that sucks about. Cardboard. Did I just do that now? I no, just no, no, no. It was, it was I just like ripped that. it. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. these rip so easily. All right. This is uh, Stamina Elocutio. Um, in theory, this is a really kind of neat digipack, but in practice, it's kind of like not the best, kind of like what you just showed us a moment ago. Uh, it opens up really weird. <laughs> okay, so like that, I don't even know if the camera will see all of it. The art's weird. So. Oh, okay, cool. It's, it's like a, a giant cross. cross yeah. And, um... I'll maybe show it in a photo after. If you flip to the other side, it's that. That's but cool. What's What's frustrating is I never know how to close it. So it's that one, and then this one, and then I think it would go by size. So smallest, biggest, biggest, biggest. Look, I, even there, I fucked it up. <laughs> so like this, and then it never... It never quite shuts. Like, see, it's never quite closed. And also, it will get very weak. Like, it's going to get really weak. Oh, yeah, it's flimsy that way. It's going to yeah. break. And this is not even that old. It's only a couple years old. So, one unique thing about this um, is that how the CD is in here. I've, I've seen, like, various ways a CD could be uh, stuck into a digipack. But this is, like, a little piece of foam. Oh, yeah. Which, it, actually, I like. I like that because it, it, you can't break foam. You can't break it. Like plastic, you can. Like I get yeah. brand new jewel cases sometimes, brand new, and it's broken. Yeah. The the teeth the section. Teeth, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so this is. What? Uh, like that. What does the cheese represent? Holy God! I guess this band is. Um, there's the cheese. So I guess this band is great uh, lyrically, um, but they only sing in Finnish, so I don't know what they're oh, singing about. <clears throat> it reminds me of Skyrim. You get those pieces of cheese in yeah. Skyrim. Okay, here's another digipack that I don't like because it's fucking weird. It's, oh, it's supposed to be presented this way. So you open it like that, but normally you would open the CD this way. But this one's like, I don't know, upside down. Ah, uh, yes, the cover like is it's, sideways. It's it's turned 90 degrees. Sorry, what band is this? Hammers of Misfortune. Oh, yeah, the, I like the them. The August, Locust Years. The August Engine, I love it. Yeah, and The Bastard. Oh, the yeah. The first album was really good. This one's really, this is the last of their good ones, in my opinion. Um, the yeah. art's cool on the CD. No, this is the way it goes, <laughs> right? So, yeah, the, the rose art is neat. And then it's like, right here you got the flower that looks normal, and underneath, there's like bugs eating it and shit. Oh, cool, but just weird how it's displayed. In a very professional artsy band photo. Jeez. Yeah, they're like hipsters, yeah. aren't they? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. 
This come out in 93 and I bought it in 93. Um, it's a jewel case. It just, it's a bit of a testament to jewel cases because I mean, it still almost looks new. I mean, there's very little damage to it. Um, and a unique, um, this like cover here for, for, um, the sleeve is kind of unique. So it opens up like almost like a poster, which I always thought was different than everything else I've seen. So you get a whole poster out of it. Um, and I don't know why, like this album is really ranked poorly in the Anthrax, with Anthrax fans, because I am completely uh, thinking it's probably their best, this or Persistence of Time. I might put this one over it. Um, so I don't get why people don't like this album. It's perfect. I think it's a great album. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> um, yeah, but see, it's, it's tearing a little bit. So it's, but it's just so old. I've had it for so many years that, that, um, these are still good. They hold the CD. Well, yeah, that's the, what's deceiving. So the jewel case, maybe I replaced it over the years. I don't know. Oops. <laughs> yeah. That's another thing. Like that's, it's not, it snapped open, but it didn't break. I'm gonna just put that back in upside down. But, um, yeah, so you can replace, uh, jewel cases, which I love. Like, I love that you can pull out, uh, this really easily. It's just, uh, you snap it. Okay, wait, don't call me a liar. There, there. And this you can replace super easy. Yep. So I, and I probably have replaced it, but I'm not sure. Then it just pops back in. My biggest pet peeve with jewel cases is the little, um, these tabs, the tab. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that's to hold the, the, the tabs that the heat sleeve to keep in. the cover. If it's that too way. thick, it rips the sleeve. Yeah. So that, that is what it is. That part sucks. All right. So you mentioned, uh, CD cases that can be jewel cases that can be replaced. Well, some can't. So I've got three here that I'll show you guys in order of, you know, in, or, in order of coolness. Well, they're all cool. So this is Alice in Chains, Nothing Safe. It's a compilation album. It's an orange jewel case. Where the fuck am I gonna find an orange one if it breaks? Oh yeah, don't break it. Yeah, but it's nice, like it's cool looking. Aren't you glad it's not <laughs> blue? The teeth, the teeth are fine here. Like it still holds the CD. Sorry, which band is this? This is Alice in Chains. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that one, and then there's another one, it's red, so kind of the same deal. What, did Alice in Chains, what are these, different albums? These are different. I'm just showing you three examples that are similar. So Machine Head, the burning red, it's like the orange one, but it's red. Uh, this one, the teeth are still, uh, yeah, they still hold it, but it's kind of loose. Again, if this one breaks, I'm fucked. And then this one, uh, Oh, that's nice. I love. Oh my God, look at that. So Nevermore, Enemies of Reality, the limited edition. Uh, what does this have to do with Alice in Chains? <laughs> nothing. It's the same style. Yeah, they're, all, they're all colored jewel cases. That this one is actually black. It can't be replaced. It's yet. not even clear. Pitch black, silver, like foil. Oh my God, that's nice. It is nice. And it's got, Oh my God. And so for this one. It's a double too. Be, uh, no, is it? Yeah. Oh fuck, I didn't even know it was a double. <laughs> Honest to God, I didn't know what's on here. Because I'll tell you why I didn't know. So it is a double. Dude, I don't even know what this is. Because <laughs> when it came, I liked it so much that I didn't want to play it. So I've kept it in a Ziploc bag. Oh. And to I, not ruin it. And I burnt a copy of it. And I play the burnt copy. I keep it next yeah, to this it's one. It's probably bonus stuff. Yeah. Bonus so, tracks. So there you go. I just discovered something new. Wow, that is a really nice... It doesn't have a scratch on it. Yeah, because it's been in this thing forever since I've ever had it. My God, here, I just want to hold that up. Look at this. Crazy. Love not, it. not Nevermore's best album, but it's uh, still a good album. Yeah. Because yeah. all their shit's good. Well, I'll go with your theme and I'll bring out the only CD in my whole collection that has a black, uh, not a black jewel case, but a black uh, CD um tray tray yeah yeah which is weird i thought man that's weird why they chose to have a, a black tray why'd they do that nothing else is black i like it it's neat um i hope i don't have to replace it <laughs> and usually the artwork behind there'd be artwork behind here but like um this would have we double-sided don't open it 
but you're like, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, You'll crack it. Yeah. It. So anyway, that's the only CD I have like that. And this is an amazing uh, power metal CD. All right, here's one. This is a Quebec black metal band called Valnacht. Um, the album is called Le Sacrifice du Lille. And it's a Viking pagan black metal band. How do you even put that with your CDs? You can't. I, I can't, yeah. So this was a limited edition DVD type case. Oh, it's a DVD. You put it with your no, DVDs. No, it's a CD, but I put it with my DVDs, exactly. Yeah. Wow, isn't that convenient? <laughs> and uh, it, if the record's amazing. It's really good. Um, and then it's, it was hand numbered, which is awesome. Oh, that's cool. And I had requested 66 of 250, and they gave it to me, which was pretty sweet. Oh, so and this is from PRC Music. They're a Quebec music label. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. All mine. Good shit. Excellent. I keep it in a plastic. I should have showed this. <laughs> the booklet is a regular CD booklet. So that's weird, but... <laughs> okay, it's like an afterthought. They're like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just print it on a regular CD exactly. booklet. Exactly. <laughs> you want us to print it the way for a DVD it will cost like 10 times more or we yeah, can yeah. print it on a CD booklet. That's oh, damaged here too. Fuck. Okay, anyways. It's what now? Damaged right here. A little bit of a lip. See? Yeah. God. Well, I guess I'll show this. This is the only CD that I have like this. This is a Chromoc anthology. Chromoc is a Malaysian metal band and they're like, um, they have a long history in, in Malaysia, like uh, uh, of being in the scene. They have released many albums. Like this is a six album uh, in one. Awesome. So it's pretty crazy. On so, a big label, EMI is a big label. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They're, they're well known over there. They're not well known anywhere else. So you, you take off this sleeve and you have, it's the only CD I have like this, but it has six. Does it have six CDs? I forget. But it's really crazy how it opens. Like it's a bit flimsy, but it's not broken. So there's disc one, disc two. There's your just. This is just a yeah. This is a booklet actually. Um, and then whoa, disc four, disc five. But where's disc six? And you're no, like, that's five and six, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. they're here in the middle. In the middle. So wait, I'll try and open it all up. Oh, okay. There. So there's one there, one there, two there, two there. Nice. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Crazy looking set, I know. What's the genre again? Death metal? Yeah. More or less. <laughs> more like more like death thrash, kinda old old school, like um not super modern. I don't know if you've seen these before. I think they're called Super Jewel Case, maybe. Super Jewel Case. So they're like I guess the first thing is it's got these rounded corners. The plastic feels a little tougher. Um, to open it, you press a button here, it says press, and then it pushes out, and the CD gets held by the tabs on these sides instead of the top and the bottom, and uh, pretty firm teeth here, these aren't going to break, and yeah, Super Jewel, Super Jewel, Super Jewel Box. <laughs> super Jewel Box. It's right there, it's like printed on the, the case. Oh, neat. And this is uh, Moon Sorrows EP. Oh, yeah. To, to Limursky, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, it's an EP that's an hour long. It's longer than a lot of albums. <laughs> it has a cool cover of Metallica. So for, typical. For Whom the Bell Tolls is on there. Yeah. Uh, Rhapsody, Reign of a Thousand Flames. It's another EP. I like their covers. It's a digipack. Uh, it's kind of... I don't like how the digipack has like a photo on like, yeah yeah it's like just make the digipack cover the whole thing the it's art, framed the art was weird yeah, what's weird. cool but i do like the cover is okay so you open it up and then your booklet is, is glued it's glued there what? but then watch when you open this pop up it's a pop-up <laughs> <laughs> that's some, crazy like i don't know if it's like an orc or some shit but, it's like a pop-up book yeah exactly anyway, oh, what the was, hell that was neat it's a pretty cool ep too nice that's weird this is my thinnest digipack. It is thin like a Kleenex. Oh, I have that. Yeah, yeah. Like, look at that. I was so disappointed when I got this. It was such a disappointment. Like, look, it's supposed to be like, okay, this is how it's supposed to be. If you see the side, but this is how it ends up like this. It's always like this. It's never like this. It's always like this. <laughs> I know that's how, like, that's how picky we are. Like, 
this would be nice. This is what the reality is. <laughs> so anyway, it's nothing. It's just that the CD. Is there a sleeve? There's there is a sleeve, and there is a CD in there. But anyway, whatever. I hate it. <laughs> great band though. Great band. Arsis, yeah, I love them. Yeah. It's good album. Okay, I'll show a couple more. We got uh, tools back. We talked about tool before. Uh, what's cool about this one is it's lenticular. So look, if I scratch, scratch my oh, nail on yeah. here, lenticular. Lenticular. It's got lines. But um, if you, I don't know if this will come through on the camera. But when you move it around, the, the, like, the eyeball moves. There's oh, an eyeball. Oh. And then the CD is kind of fucked up. Wait till you see it. There we go. Okay. It's some dude giving himself pleasure. <laughs> it's fucking oh, weird. Wow. Yeah. But underneath that, um, look at the dot. It's like a dot pushing thing. Does that work? Why do they have to change and it then, every time? Why is it always the center thing always different? I don't know. It's like they haven't fit. It's like, you know what it's like? It's like they don't know how to do it yet. They're just trying anything. <laughs> and I think Tool likes to be different yeah. in particular. Uh, this one again, lenticular oh. uh, bottom. So I'll never replace this if it breaks. Um, this is uh, a map of the U.S. This is California, and when you move it, California gets swept under by water. Oh, it cool. relates to a song on the album. Oh, cool! Yeah. But this is Tool Enema, amazing fucking album. Oh. This is actually a pretty important album in black metal, but not, I don't think, know how many people realize that. Uh, it's It and All and uh, Von Dur is Stritzy Furley Sing. I don't know how to pronounce it. Stritzy Furley Sing. What's weird about the CD, the case and all that, nothing, but the artwork is all Star Wars. Have you ever seen it? I've never seen this in my life. I've well, it's all it. Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, there's it and all there. Okay, nothing Star Wars in there at all. Oh, yeah, totally Star Wars, dude. It doesn't <laughs> end. There's the fucking Death Star. Oh, there, okay, yeah. And if you look at the uh, artwork, wait. <laughs> you have the Emperor and the Rancor. And Stormtroopers and Tarkin. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. And it is grim as fuck, brutal as fuck, black metal. Really, I love it. Like, I love this album. Um, and there's Darth Vader. And um, it's just a weird, it's just weird artwork. And you think, well, how could they actually do that and not get dinged? Oh. <laughs> Because nobody cares about black metal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's actually quite dated. Like it's from, um, I don't know when this came out, but I think it was in the fucking 90s or maybe 2000s. It's pretty early. And are they singing about Star Wars? No. They just used Star Wars artwork. Yeah. Cool. And they're kind of more like a joke black metal band almost. Or there's something bizarre about them. I don't know the whole history behind it, but I do know that... Um, that, uh, you know, if you like cult, cult, black metal, well, this is one of those albums that people collect. Awesome. Yeah. I'll go totally on the other side of the spectrum. This is actually two albums that came out at separate times. It's System of a Down, Hypnotize, and Mesmerize. I forget which one was first. I think Mesmerize was first. But it was two digipacks that you joined together with this weird fucking, like, cardboard extra piece. But they came out at different times, right? So you buy, you buy this one like this, and you buy this one like that, and they came out oh, different, they came, they different times, after. different CDs. Yeah, but the, thematically, the, the art is very similar. You got the clock there. You got the clock there. You got the the uh, who's that guy who does this kind of art? Dali, Salvador Dali, Dali type artwork. Anyways. And then you join them together to make a double album. It's like a transformer in the track lists. And it's System of a Down. You either like them or you don't. And I think don't. Cool. And I think they're cool. Wake up. <laughs> Never much but a little makeup. Up. This is there's not much to show here. Just well, this is an interesting band from uh, Tunisia, Marath. They are power metal, kind of like fantasy metal, whatever. But I just bought this album. It's brand new. I just opened it like the other day. And all the teeth are broken. They were already broken. It was sealed. They broke inside. Anyway, nothing against the band. Just what in the God's name are they doing with these CDs? Okay, I'm done. 
I'll end it on this one here. Uh, this is a band, Afflictor. It's uh, Whoa, nice. a guy, Toby Knapp. Um, he's a, like a virtuoso guitarist. He was in the band uh, Onward. That's probably where most people know him from. But he's got all these like side projects. He's got a black metal band. He's got like a power metal band. And then this is his death thrash metal band. Um, it's a label in India uh, that, that did this packaging, uh, Transcending Obscurity. That's oh, cool. The, um, so there's this really cool Indian guy who runs it. Oh. So this is like a cardboard box that's a bitch to open. I won't even be able to open it. I'll pick it up. Digging my nail. Try it, man. You can do it. I think you can do it. Use your muscles, girly man. <laughs> so this one was numbered, like uh, another one I showed earlier, 25 of 75. Wow. Uh, and it comes with like a, I don't know, like a, a sticker, a postcard wow. for the band, one for the label, wow. another one for the band with the album artwork, and there's the album. Wow. What's in there? The piece of paper? Poster? Uh, this is a poster, yep. Yeah. And then in the CD, I don't think there's anything special inside. Just the artwork's super cool. Yeah, it is. Um, and it's good. It's good music. Uh, really good music. I love Toby Knapp. Everything he does is good. Um, this was supposed to include a guitar pick as well. Huh. And I guess the guy didn't have them at the time and he's, when he sent them out, so mine didn't include one, unfortunately. But huh. yeah, it's a cool, cool record. No one's ever heard of these guys, and no one's going to go check them out either, but they're cool. I will check them out. I have not heard of them, and I will. Thank you for listening to us nerd it up with our CDs. <laughs> what, what, what else? What else is there to say? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of really cool CDs. Um, CD collecting is going the way of the dodo. Yeah, like everyone's the dodo. Spot Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. Everybody's on Spotify. Spotify and the YouTubes. And the YouTubes and the, you know. <laughs> We yeah. still buy CDs. I bought a lot of CDs during COVID. Probably the most I've ever bought in a in a in a run. And uh, kind of, I have a list that I have to buy, buy, buy. And I'm I'm primarily a vinyl co collector now, but I have collected a lot of cool CDs over time. I've got a lot of cool vinyls that might make a cool video. Hmm? I said vinyls, and I know vinyl collectors hate that. We will. We'll do a vinyl video. Okay. We'll do it just at your place, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. there's like a shitload of like different colors and cool form factors for box sets and whatnot. So yeah, cool. All right. Okay, thank you. Stay metal.